Hey, hi. Welcome to our very first true picnic together. And here we are outside in Arbor, Michigan. Welcome, happy Friday. We made it through another week. So let's celebrate that together today. I take you now for our winter hat. Putting on our Friday hat. It could be Freaky Friday or just Friendship Friday or just Friday. And of course, I have to put on my Friday shoes. Oh. That is so much better now. So. Here we are today. I was expecting you. So this Friday, I'm thinking, when we have our true picnics together, we need to share and we need to create. So today, together, we're gonna to make a shrine or an altar for Frida, Frida Friday, who is this amazing artist, Mexican artist, Ooh. It's some really, she had polio as a child, and she was in a terrible accident. And from then on, she was never had a pain-free life. Always dealing with physical pain. So, let's create an altar for her, because I don't know if she drew from that pain. I don't mean that pun, uh, pun not intended, but if she took from that, or if because of it, but with that pain she created from her hospital bed, she couldn't move, so she had a paintbrush and all her art stuff put around her so she could paint. And look what she shared with us, so much joy and color. So let's toast to her today. To Frida and to all of you who have had some kind of trauma in your life, physical or otherwise, that you are continuing to work through and deal with because they never go away but hopefully we learn to get through them and mm, that's not the right way because they never leave us but make peace okay that's a lifelong process but to to get in through that together always with true friends so cheers I brought some special cookies from Italy uh, in New York, we had them. They're called abracci, and they mean hugs. So I'm sending this hug to you. And I forgot which cup I drink out of. Mm. It's fresh coffee. Okay, so we have to create. Let's light this candle first. And today, we, together, we have a candle, the Virgen Guadalupe. She is the patron saint, Mexico, where she's from. This is a little fellow who loves, he's playing the harp. And Frida loved to dance. She's a dancer. And this is a harp from Mexico, gorgeous painted folk art, heart. And I wanted to share from this book called Frida Kahlo. Oh, and there's Kiana. She's the bookmark. Because <laughs> she is an amazing woman artist. It says, Frida loved to smoke, loved to drink, and loved to go dancing. So despite her lame legs, she loved to go boxing, to matches, watch street theater, and listen to mariachi bands. So the reason I'm thinking about music and art and how our artistic soul It's always there, always something to draw from. I keep using that word. Speaking of drawing, we're gonna to create together. We made our little altar. And you can make one too. It doesn't have to be to Frida. It can be to someone special to you and your family. 
You don't have to call it an altar. It can just be a, one photograph and a candle. Maybe a photograph and a stone that you collected together. And a memory shared. And one other thing we can do at our picnics, I think, is to create. So, we've got this. Every day is a blank sheet of paper, isn't it? And here we are outside, wherever your inspiration is. Maybe it's indoors because we have privacy and peace. And, but I think focusing on thinking about squares. I don't know why. And how each square is maybe a phase or a part of our life that we've been through, that we endured, maybe stages of our lives, phases. But within each phase, in each stage, we came away different. We created something. We leave it in a different way than when we came. So, these are the seeds, this is the beginning phase, what should the next one be? Maybe it's the stem, and some more leaves, I don't know, and here, who knows? So. Whatever you decide to draw or create today, this weekend, let your surroundings be your inspiration. And if you're in a writer's block or a creative block, maybe you just need to take a walk by yourself, listen to a beautiful piece of music, box cellos. Oh my gosh, cello suite. Oh my goodness. Performed by Yo-Yo Ma. Maybe it's Chopin that you love. Maybe you need to listen to Deborah Harry in Heart of Glass. Or maybe you need to reach out. So, whatever it is you need this weekend, I hope you find that. And hopefully some of that time will be with us here at True. Tonight we'll see you at the Friday Dance Party, Friday Lively. Those aren't my dancing shoes, but they could be. And maybe we'll see you tomorrow at the True Wellness Cafe. And if not, definitely we're going to see you on Monday at Ruben's Roasters. We'll share a cup of coffee. We'll do a challenge check. We're also going to uh, write a poem together, create some art, and then say goodbye. So wishing you a beautiful weekend. If you need us, we're here. Remember, message us. Message each other. Send someone a piece of art, something that you created by email, by text, posted on the app. Stay true. Find peace and beauty and love right where you are. It's there. Sometimes you have to kind of look maybe a little deeper, or sometimes it's just right there. So, from Frida Friday. Wishing you peace. This is Ruben from Ann Arbor. Stay true.